Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and in today's video I'm going to be trying out the Rev Air for the very first time. So on the wand there are three settings for the Rev Air. The two lines equal high temp, the zero equals no heat also known as the cool shots and the one line will equal low temp. For today, I will be using it on the high temp setting, but I will make sure to do any type of comparisons in any future videos. And because today is my first time, I do have the airspeed dial set to number two. But first, you know we always work in sections. Let's go. Okay, so my hair is already finger detangled, but because I am so nervous about using this machine, I am just making sure, double and triple checking to make sure that there is no tangles in my hair because I am really scared that if there's a tangle and then it gets stuck in the machine, then I'm just gonna end up crying. So I am double and triple checking to make sure that I have absolutely no tangles in these sections. So I am getting ready now, I'm grabbing the wand. I'm just double checking that I have it on the high heat temp, which is the two straight lines. And I'm just gonna turn it on for you so you hear how it sounds. Okay, so now that I've got used to the sound of sounding like I'm at a construction site, I'm going in for the very first try of using the Rev Air. Bear with me with my facial expressions. I'm just really nervous about what's about to happen. So the average uh, section time for straight hair is 30 seconds. For wavy hair, it's 45 seconds. For curly hair, it's 60 seconds. And for coily, zigzag hair is 90 seconds. These were the recommended times given in the instruction manual. I'm gonna make sure that I don't go over the 90 second mark. Now I must say that the suction level for number two is quite strong uh, for me. And I'm actually really shocked because that's the actual starting point that they said for new users to start at. So I think that's gonna be my comfortable area and I will not be going past uh, level two on the dial. Okay, so at this point, I'm extremely happy with you know just how i've started out because as you can see it's not a it's not a tangled mess inside like i was expecting something horrific to happen i don't know why i'm just a debbie downer like that but honestly i feel like my hair is safe in there it's like very unified inside the tube i don't know how to explain it but i don't feel like my hair is swinging all over the place like it's uniform in motion inside of the machine okay guys so i'm just gonna keep it real with you i saw another um, YouTuber out there who did a review on the Rev Air and when she used it on her hair she was not able to comb through her hair at all and she went through and she went through it with a flat iron afterwards because she said she couldn't get to her roots so I think that's why you still see me detangling with a comb only because I really don't want that to happen to me at the end. In the manual provided with the Rev Air the company does give you guys like some tips for success when using the device um, so in regards to sections, they did say that size does matter. They say to begin with the three inch by three inch section at the scalp. If your hair has a lot of volume, start slightly smaller as not to inhibit airflow in the wand. And in regards to getting your roots, it just says in the manual when held to the scalp, the wand should reach all roots just by gently moving the wand mouth around each section so you might see some reviews where people are being extra and just pumping the wand up and down up and down you don't need to do that at all so even though i have 90 seconds per section time i'm still pulling back the wand every like say 60 seconds on average just to see if i can cut back my drying time so that's the only reason why you see me pulling back the wand because um, I'm just double checking to see if maybe I don't have to do the full 90 seconds and I can cut back. And I just wanted to point out because I'm using the high temp setting, I did spray all over my hair before putting it in sections, a heat protectant to protect my hair because I'm still using a level of heat and I want to make sure that my hair is being protected. So even though it's my first time, I'm not rushing through this process. I'm really taking my time um, just to make sure that I'm, you know, learning and maneuvering with the products. But honestly, I've already noticed a decrease in the drying time. So that's just a win-win in my book. Hey 
Hey, so I made it to the top part on this side. I'm so happy because I got to this point without any mishaps, without any extreme knots or tangles, and I can't wait to finish up this section of my hair. All right, so I'm almost finished with this side of my hair. I'm starting to feel a lot more confident with the device. Look at me dancing and stuff. I need to hurry up, finish this hair, and give you guys the final look. Honestly, I truly believe that sections the smaller they are, they're going to make a big difference in the results of your Rev Air hair. Honestly, like I don't even have to move the wand around that much because my sections are small and I really feel like my roots are just starting to lay flat. Okay guys, so get into these results so far. Tell me in the comment section down below, have you tried the Rev Air before? Are you interested in purchasing this product? Or are you just gonna skip it and stick to your regular blow dry routine? All right guys, so here are the results of the Rev Air. Honestly, like I'm shocked. I'm really happy of how my hair came out. I don't think it's gonna replace my flat iron though. But honestly, this is actually how I like wearing my hair most of the time. I only flat iron my hair usually about two to three times a year. So I'm not really worried about it replacing my flat iron. And I love when my hair is poofy like this because it adds so much more volume to my hair. I love big lioness hair. And check out the views from the back. My gosh, like I'm really happy. Now one thing to consider, this device is not cheap at all. It runs for about $400 American and I live in Canada so I would have to convert that into Canadian dollars. Uh, the device that I use today does not belong to me. Uh, my girlfriend Christiana, hey girl, she let me borrow her device. Uh, and I am so glad that I got to try before I buy this Rev Air for myself because honestly, I don't think, you know, words can do this device justice. I feel like it's going to help me greatly in my routine when it comes to stretching out my relaxer, specifically towards the end of my stretch, when it comes to balancing those two textures. So I can't wait to make my purchase. I'm sad that I have to give back Christiana her device, but of course she's waiting for it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I am absolutely in love with these results. I'm going to go out for the rest of the day and just enjoy my hair being out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.